Hi, my name is Joachim Johansson and this is my first bonsai video. Um, I've been doing bonsai for about a year, so not that long. I'm definitely a beginner. So, if I do something wrong or you think that there's a better way for me to do it, please tell me. Um, Today I, will, I will, uh, uh, today I will be working on this Nana Brasilis. Uh, I think it's the same as a Hinoki Cypress. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I find it very difficult to find information about this stuff. I bought three of these yesterday. Um, and one of them I will put in the ground, and two of them I will uh, make bonds I have, or try to at least. Uh, I can show you yesterday, I made one of them. I recorded that as well, so it will probably be coming uh, a video on that as well. I'm quite happy with the results. Uh, so we'll see what I can do with this one. Uh, let's start with cutting off this label Beautiful. and uh, oh, there we go, I guess, or no, yes, there we go. So, Sham Obtusa Nana Grisalis, I don't know if it's you can see this, but Japanese Cypress Nana Grisalis. I think it's not the Cypress. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I will start with just cleaning up a bit of the dead debris in here. I have a lot of dead branches and dead foliage. Did I have my, yeah, shot it. Actually, let me just remove it out of the pot. If I can. <laughs> there we go. Oh, water it. Very wet. Now I can see a bit better. Okay, so this definitely is into the root base, so I will try to take the root break and see if I can dig further down and find the root base. Oh, there's a lot of roots. It'll probably take a while. I hope you can hear me over the rain. It's been raining for like Three weeks straight now? No, two weeks straight maybe. And that's my whole vacation so far. So, yeah. And it seems like my whole vacation will be, the two weeks or three weeks that are left, will be only rain. It's a bit sad, but what can you do? Oh, spider. Ooh. Come here. You little spider. So I don't know if you can hear it on the accent or on the name. Uh, but I'm from Sweden. Um, I just moved to the west coast of Sweden where I also grew up. But I've been to the east coast for a while in Stockholm. Lived there for 10 years and now I'm back in close to Gothenburg. So much fruit. It's very difficult to get deeper because there's so many roots 
that's good. It means it's healthy. I also find a lot of these yellow little balls, which I think is organic fertilizer. Okay, so I've got like a centimeter further down or something. I don't know if you can see this. I'm starting to reveal a bit of the trunk. I'll just keep at it. Probably force fast forward forced barrel. Fast forward um, a lot of this because it takes time. So these came in three different sizes. Uh, so this was the middle size, and then the one that I worked on first is the um, small size, and then the one that I'm going to put into the ground was the biggest and the most expensive. The reason I wanted to buy one of these is because my parents planted one of these in their garden like 30 years ago or something. Uh, and it was about this size when they planted it and now it's like a meter high or something and really nice looking. Uh, and I thought it looked really nice, I want one of those for myself. But I tried to find them, it's, they're surprisingly hard to find. You know, finally I did, I bought three of them. So. I hope they survive. Uh, I'm still very novice to bonsai making, so I have killed a few trees. Uh, last year I bought a couple of unipers, killed all of them. Um, I'm not completely sure what I did wrong, but it might be have been too severe root pruning or root pruning in the wrong season or too much foliage pruning, or too much foliage pruning and root pruning at the same time, and in the wrong season, I don't know. Uh, but I do know, they die. Uh, so I really hope these ones will survive. And I will not be doing any kind of repot or whatever on these now, for that reason, but I'm afraid of doing too much at the same time and it's not the proper season for recruit, root pruning and repotting now anyways, so um, I will just break away the roots that are on the top here and then maybe just take off the very very long ones uh, and then put it in a pot, probably back in the same pot. What I've done with the other tree that I showed you earlier was taking the pot it was in and then cutting it uh, in half to make it lower and then just putting the tree back in in the same pot. Uh, please comment if you think that's a good idea, a good idea or if it's a bad idea or yeah, if you've got any tips on training pots. So I don't think I have like 20 trees, about 20 trees, in different stages in my collection right now. Uh, I will make a video later on to show all of them and give you a bit of history, what I've done to them, where they came from. Some of them are Yamadori and some of them are grown from seed and some of them are bought from nurseries. Maybe if I sit like this, you can see a bit more of what I'm doing. So the reason I got into bonsai is actually my girlfriend who asked me, or said to me, that she wanted a bonsai tree. And then I thought that, hey, how difficult can that be? You just buy a bonsai seed, right? And plant it. And then, down the rabbit hole I went, um, and, spoiler alert, you cannot buy a bonsai seed and just plant it. Um, so, pretty quickly found out that 
bonsai isn't actually a species, it's a, an art form which you can do to any species. So, I'm more or less in a species, I guess. Oh, this is taking forever. Tease the roots a bit. bit. Right. I think I need to cut a few of these roots off. They're just gathering up on the surface now and creating this kind of messy root whims. Can't see anything. So I don't know. Why did they survive? In the spring, should I completely bury them and put them in proper bonsai soil, or should I do that gradually, like take away a little bit of that this organic soil, standard potting soil, and place it with bonsai soil to eventually have it all in bonsai soil. I don't know. Please comment what you think. There's so much I do not know. There's so little that I do know. Looks like anyway. That's also a reason, to be honest, when I'm doing these videos to kind of try to piggyback on other people's knowledge, telling, making them tell me what I do wrong. What I do right, what I could do better. Okay, so I think I'm reaching the root base now. So I can get a bit of flare here. I think these are also grafted, so I'm expecting kind of bulge down here. Although, the other tree didn't see that much of it. So maybe they are not profit or very very well done. I'm not going to make one of these without profiting them. There's a lot of these that I have seen are profited, like when I watch other videos on YouTube and stuff like that. If the soil were drier, this would, wouldn't probably take as much time. It's really difficult to dig down when it's so wet and compact. Okay, so you can kind of see that I'm starting to get to the okay, uh, kind of root base here. Yeah, it continues down here. Quite thick. Working away at the soil. Working away at the soil. My arm is starting to get sore. Doing the same motion all over again. I have no clue what the format of this, these videos and their release will be. Like once a week or something like that, at least in the beginning. We don't have enough trees to do the kind of Mario Saunders one video every day yet, I think, and I don't have the time either. I do like Mario Saunders though. Learned a lot from him and really like his videos. It's a recommendation. Okay. So, this is definitely the graph and it's very bulbous looking. I think I will stop there. I've reached enough of the roof base now to see where the tree is heading. See if I can move a bit closer to the camera just to show you up close. There we go. Okay. So, the next phase, I I should get rid of some of this soil first. Yeah, I think I will. Let's put the tree down here. Tools. Okay. Be right back. So I just looked at the recording time and reaching this 
root base took me about half an hour. 26 minutes. Although, minus me introducing myself and stuff. So, let's start cleaning this up a bit more. Still got some debris in here. So the problem I had with the last one, the first one I did, there's so much foliage, it's so difficult to see what's happening in here. There's so many options, like from this thick branch out here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine branches or something just growing from the same branch. I need to decide which ones that I like and which ones that I do not like and try to plan the future all that stuff, I mean, it's just very overwhelming for me. Okay, so I'll start with the major branches. The first one I got is coming up to the opposite side of the tree's direction. Here, and I do want to keep that for now. I don't know if I want the branch that low later on, but for now I do want to keep it. So I can be pretty certain that the, this one coming from the junction between this big branch on the trunk can go. There. That's the first cut. Yay. Can I select like this? Um, so I do not have any other branch to in any other direction on the trunk until I guess this one was coming forward. Assuming this is the front. Uh, which I I kind of feel that it is. We'll see. Um, I do think I'm going to keep this one. It's the lowest one on this side and I need something here. That means I can take this one out. If I'm keeping this one, I probably cannot keep this one. This is a big one. It's in the same side. Although what I could do is remove this entire trunk and have this one being the Trunk line continuing here, it's kind of a steep turn. You say steep turn? Whatever. Um, so if I remove that one, would that add too much of a hole here? Because there's a lot of foliage. I don't think it would. I'm removing this one. There we go. Biggest cup yet. Okay, and since I'm keeping this one, I won't be needing this one. It's kind of nice to have something coming a bit forward here, even if it needs shortening down and compacting. In that case, I wouldn't want this one. This one's kind of weak anyways. I'm removing this. And I can wire this down a bit to fill in this gap. So I'm removing this one. Oof. I'm really getting somewhere now. I think. Oh. Okay, so we got one here. A lot of foliage that needs to be taken care of later. I think. Um, I actually got one coming up from the same spot here, but backwards. I kind of like that. Feeling something feeling this spot and adding some depth to the, to the tree. So I'll keep that for now. Do we want this one? I do not think we do. We've got a lot of other nice branches. And this is way too close to the very cluster branches here right now. I'll take this up. Again, on this left side, we got a cluster of branches. I don't think I want the one growing downwards. That way. And then we got two look like very young. Okay. Don't know where that came from. Uh, two very young shoots here. And um, I don't think I want, at least not the lower one. Maybe the higher one could be developed into something, but I already got 
something that is developed over here. So we'll take this younger one away. So now we've got one, two, three branches growing from the same spot here on the left side. I need to choose one of them. So this one is the thinnest one, the least developed one. It goes in the same direction as this one, so I don't think that's a candidate. Taking that away. This is going forward, and this is kind of also going forward, could be wired down a bit. Yeah, I'm keeping the more developed one. Boom. Got that area cleaned up. We've got some new shoots coming from above there that I don't want as well. Taking those away. So this one going opposite side of this one, I do not want. I'll take away that one. There we go. This one could be used as something in the future, so I will, for now I'll keep that one. I got one thick one and then two small ones growing from the same spot there, so I need to pick one. I do like the thick one. Although I've learned that you want to go with thinner branches to make the tree look more proportionate. How much foliage should this thick one have further back? Not a lot, so I would have like all the spots all the way here. Which might not be. Although if I kept this one I could develop like a little branch sticking out from this big branch that covers this area. I think I'll do that. Which means I would get rid of this one. And I'll do that. So this. So I got this other branch coming from the same spot, but I do kinda of like it because it's going backwards and Oh, again, add some depth to the, the tree. We'll keep that one for now. Keep going up. I got a branch here, and it's the only one, nothing interfering with it. So, the only thing I'll do is clean it up by taking away some of the foliage here to be able to see what's going on a bit better. Do you think I should pinch or cut with the scissors at this point? Right in the comments. I'll probably put some bend into it later on. Like boom, boom. See? It's thinning out. Got a lot of debris in here right now. We've so got a lot of got some kind of spider's nest here. Like these little clusters of eggs, I think. I need those. Normally I do keep spiders in trees though, because they eat insects and things. Going up, we got cluster of branches here. Uh, we got a thick one here. It's going downwards. Here's the next one should be on the right side. Uh, and yeah, we have the thick branch going kind of downwards. There's another bug. How many bugs are there? Although that one's dead. I do know I don't want this upward swing branch here at least, so I'll take that off. Uh, this one is kind of adding a bit of foliage forward. I'm not against that. Since I do want to keep something on the left, right side here, 
I know that I will not want this on the left side. So I'll take that off. I do think we want to go with it. And although this isn't, this isn't that thick when we remove the upper scrolling branch, maybe kind of flush out there. It's actually not very thick. Maybe we should take that off. It's going backwards, so we can kind of think more what it's done. Backwards and downwards. We have kind of hole here. This one going upwards, I do not want. Take this off. That one fell off by itself, so. So if I'm keeping, I'm not keeping this one. It's either this one or this one, so I'll take this one off. Okay. Can I keep both of them? I guess I could. I'll do that for now. I'll take that one out. It's kind of close to all the other branches. And this one is more developed anyway. I like that. And then you got this one on the bottom here that I do not like. Take this one out. I'm reaching the apex here. So I do want to have the apex a bit more lush. But not this much. So, should I take that one out? Or that one out? Let's see. There's two branches running side by side here. I think that this one's going to come off. And then to the right side, we have Let's see if that one, move that one, keep that one. And then we want we want that one, so we move this one. And now we're at the apex. Maybe that should just get some thinning. Mm -hmm. This one. So which one should be the actual apex? This, I think. So I'll remove, or I should just pinch off this one. So that was the first. Round of branch selections. Now to clean, clean it up a bit more, and then eventually get to wiring. I should keep all this somewhere. Put it outside for now. Oops. Something happened with the camera. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom again. So first off, I do want to expose more of the front of the tree, which is here. I do want to define this lower branch a bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with removing some branches from some branches from the big branch here. So this one. We might be able to keep and kind of wire. No. Uh, or just remove it. Yeah, I'm removing it. There we go. Now we'll see a bit more of the trunk here. So we've got a lot of branches from in here. I do like this one. Let me remove this one. Oop. And then we've got. See another branch column here. Probably do not want both of these. Should I remove this one maybe? Yes, I should. I'm going to remove that one. Oof. We want this big one going backwards. We've got already got this one going backwards. I don't think we want this big one here. Uh, so I'm going to. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to remove that. And there we go. Next up, I think this I guess. Whoa! Fine. Uh maybe we could just pinch back some of these. Okay, and then we've got this back branch over here. This one. 
It comes out and divides into two branches, I do like that. Uh, but it kind of twists upwards, and that's something we can fix with wiring later on. And then we get up to this branch. It's kind of panning out in all directions. Um, I'll pinch up some of the downwards growing foliage here. I don't know how much you can pinch without without the foliage dying off. It's kind of a weird angle. I'll probably wire this one. Uh, I don't know. Can I get rid of it? Absolutely. I guess I could. Not now though, but maybe later. Should remove this little shoe here. I don't know about this one. If I remove that one, maybe I do want this one. I would look without any of those. I don't know. Uh, if we removed all of these, we could develop this one into more of a, a sub canopy almost. Like it's under the tree down here. It would look pretty neat. Uh, so for this big branch, I'll just pinch up some of the downwards growing foliage again. And also some of the upwards growing foliage. Oh, like that. And then we get to... I don't know what this is. I'll remove that. Because I just missed that one. Mm -hmm. oh. I forgot. Downwards growing shoot in this part. I don't know. So I'll... pinch this branch back a bit. The downwards growing foliage. Uh, and the upper growing ones a bit. Is this a good way of doing it? I don't know. Tell me. We've got this kind of shield coming up, makes it divide into three different branches, and I don't like that. I'm really that. I can do take away these two. Add a bit more space here and come over with this. It could look pretty cool as well. Or maybe come over with this. I don't know. An upwards growing branch here I do not like on this. And let's just do some more pinching here. Moving on to the next branch, on the left side here, we've got this one, we've got some downward strong foliage that we don't like. Pinching that off. This one is also an upward strong one, I'll see if I can just remove a bit of it. There we go. This one's a downward strong one that interferes a lot, we'll take that away. Away some side here. So we're definitely getting somewhere. Next branch, I think it's this one. It's very vigorous. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, so it comes out quite far before the foliage begins. So we've got one branch going backwards here. Or going backwards, growing towards the back. Uh, I want to keep this one. Actually, I want to keep a lot of this. Maybe I should just start with pinching it back, see how it turns out. It's a bit less dense. Okay, yeah, I need to take something off here. If that one's going back, I want to take this one off. Poof. There we go. And then from this branch, this could actually be shortened. In this branch, we've got a lot of branches. Let's take that one off. And I'll take that one off. 
so much foliage here. Maybe just removing this one or that one. This one. There we go. And then removing some of this. Like that one. I do like this one. I do, I do like this one. I do want to keep as much foliage closer to the trunk as possible because, from what I've heard, this doesn't backbud very easily. So I don't want to get rid of foliage closer to the trunk. If it seems like a feasible type. So I'll keep this one. Maybe just bring it in this one in a bit. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's box it. It's there. And then on this side, we can bring it in about there. Maybe remove one of these and the back. There. Okay, so we got one, two branches here. That's what I want to decide which one to keep. If I remove this one, I'll add a bit of hole here, which is not light. Maybe I should remove this one. Yeah, I think so. I'll remove that one. Poof. And then I will finish some of these back. would want to angle this like this, so it's kind of takes its nice path. Maybe I can do that with wiring later. I hope. The next branch, this one. I'm not to do that. A lot of foliage growing upwards here, I'll just finish that off. Actually, there's some branch here growing upwards, but I can take off like that. And then this one as well, I would like to kind of twist like this, make more horizontal. So we got a downwards growing branch here, and that off, and then there's a lot of foliage here. Finish back, we got a lot of downwards down growing branches. Upwards growing here, I think, off. And then turn it out a bit, maybe I should. Maybe just take like, that one off. And that one off. And that one off. And then back a bit. Like that. Um, let's see. Here we got a lot of foliage to take care of. Let's remove this. Let's remove that. And let's remove So I got, here I got opposite branches. Maybe I need to remove this one to solve that. No. This one? No. It removes two of them. Or down, 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 down. Maybe those. Yeah, I need those. 
starting to look like something. So, for a while now, I think I want to make a decision. Do I want to keep this, these two branches? So if I remove them, this one can take a lot more of focus into already that bigger. Yes, I want to remove them. I'm doing it. Poof. Poof. There we go. Oh yes, that is much better. So I can do something like that. Try and twist it over like this. And I could remove this branch as well. I think I want to do that. Um, I will start with wiring the front. And I will need quite this wire. This is 3 millimeters. And stick this one to the ground. Then I will come around this way. other branches. I want this to have space to develop. You know, I'll make this black branch a bit more scarce. Maybe I will wire that one. Something like that. And then here's a bit plus in the cluster. Let's see if I can do This one should probably be a bit shorter as well. And short this one down to I think this one's kind of good. I don't need to wire this or anything. But I think I need to wire this one. I don't know. Definitely maybe. I'll take this back. Maybe removing that entire branch. It's kind of dividing into three there, anyways. So, what if I got rid of this entire thing? Yes, I will do that. So, I'm gonna wire these two.
Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm done for now. So, like I said earlier, I think I'm just gonna cut this down a bit, like that. I'm gonna go up the back, I don't have any drainage points right now. I need to buy that. Okay, so now I'll just clean some of the cut up, cuts up and apply cut paste. Uh, I had really fun working on this Hinoki Cypress, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, next up I will have a video of the earlier Hinoki Cypress I worked on. I'll also make a video updating you guys on the other trees that I have. I can give you a sneak peek. There we go. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.